Good evening everyone and welcome to another cook with me video. Tonight I'm making tuna pasta. I usually make this dish when I'm trying to use up some scraggly odds and ends in the fridge. So I'll show you them in a minute what I'm using up but the, this here is the basis what I always start with. So got salt and pepper, some fry light, oregano and basil, an onion, two garlic cloves, some cheese, I'll come back to that in a minute. Tomato passata, chopped tomatoes. I might use another tin, I'm just going to see how it goes. Some pasta, any pasta that you want. I just grabbed this at the shop because it was 79p. Um, two tins of tuna. So to come back to the cheese, 50 grams is your healthy extra A, or 50 grams is six cents. So this is actually this little bit here because I've already used some of it. This is 200 grams or just under 200 grams. So that's actually, whoa, what's that, 24 cents. Um, and then the portion is going to be divided by four. And so it'll be six cents for me because I've used my healthy extra A on milk or I will have by the end of today used both my healthy extra A's on milk. So that'll be six cents for me or six cents per portion. But if you're using this as a healthy extra A, this whole meal will be completely sin free. So this is what I always use for a basis for this dish. I don't know if you can tell, but these are the scraggly odds and ends I'm adding to it. Most of the time I would add sweet corn, but I've not got any. But I do have some mushrooms that I've maybe seen better days, but they will still be fine in this dish. I've got half a green pepper that's needing used up, half a red onion and a little drop of spinach. And because I've only got half a pepper, I'm going to add some more frozen peppers into it. So this is a great way of using up all your scraggly fr fridge items. But if you've not got any scraggly fridge items, just use some sweet corn or just add whatever you like. It's a very easy, versatile dish. You can add whatever you want, whatever you feel to it. And the great thing about my scraggly fridge items is they're all speed foods. So I'm just going to start preparing all my veg so that's all done and out the way. And guys, I know you like a little montage of me chopping my veg, so just for you guys, here you go. The next thing I'm going to do is spray a pan with fry light and wait for that to heat up. Okay, now that that's heated up, I'm just going to add my onion and my garlic, both my onions because I've got red and white onion. Cook for two or three minutes until they're softened. And while the onions are cooking there, I've just put a pot of water on for the pasta, so I'm going to bring that to the boil and then add my pasta and cook it five minutes less than it says on the packet because I'm going to put this in the oven later, so I don't want it to be too soggy. Okay, the onions are soft, so I'm going to add my herbs. One teaspoon of basil, one teaspoon of oregano, half a teaspoon of pepper, one teaspoon of salt, give a little mix. And then I'm going to add my chopped tomatoes and my passata.
And do you know what? I am going to add another tin of chopped tomatoes to that. So I'm just going to leave that just now, bring it to the boil and then I'll add the rest to my veg. Whilst I am waiting for things coming to the boil, sorry if you can hear that noise in the background, that's just the tomato sauce and the water for the pasta coming to the boil. But while I'm waiting for them coming to the boil, how many times have I said coming to the boil? Anyway, I'm just going to grate my cheese so that's ready. Okay, the pasta is boiling, so I'm just going to pour that in now. It was boiling. Okay, that's coming up to the boil now. I would suggest at this point to have a little taste test and see if you think it needs anything added, because this is done purely to my taste. So let me see. I reckon that needs another wee half teaspoon of each of the herbs because I used that extra tin of chopped tomatoes so I think I've diluted the herbs down a little bit. So I'll just leave that for another few minutes and then come back to it and add the other veg. Okay that is boiling away so I'm just going to take it off the heat because it's gone a bit ferocious and I'm going to add the mushrooms and the peppers a couple of handfuls of the frozen peppers And then back onto the heat to cook for another 10 minutes or so until the vegetables are all cooked through and then I will put the spinach in at the very last minute because that takes seconds if I'm lucky to cook. So I'm just going to pop my oven on at the minute to warm up. I'll put it at 200. Okay that's nearly done so I'm just going to chuck in this little bit of spinach that I've got. And just give that a minute or so for the spinach to wilt. So I've drained the pasta and I'm just going to spoon over the tuna. It is going to get mixed in but I'm trying to spoon it over everywhere so it gets evenly mixed in. And I just want to say while I'm on the tuna subject, you need to get the one that's in brine or in water. Do not get the one in sunflower oil or olive oil or anything like that because it's only the brine ones and the water ones that are sun free. I can hear my dogs pacing outside, they can smell the tuna. So that's my sauce ready so I'm just going to pour it over. And I do want to say that you're going to have to make it quite watery because the tuna will absorb a lot of the moisture. I don't mean watery but it looks like I'm putting in maybe too much sauce but you want lots of extra sauce, you want it to look too saucy because like I said the pasta absorbs the moisture.
then just try and spread it out so it's all even. And then we're going to pop the cheese on top. Just spread it out so it's all as even as you can get it. So now I'm just going to pop it in the oven for another 15 minutes or just until the cheese is all melted on top and then it'll be ready. And there you go, that's it all plated up. This is actually going to be less than six cents for me. You know I was talking about the cheese at the start of the video because let me show you. I have literally only used a third of that tree. I don't know if it's, you can tell from this. But I've only used a third of that, so half of, it was, half of that third was for me and half of it was for Ali. So I can't even do the maths right now. My brain's a bit dead, but I'll work it out and write it down below. You've probably worked it out already by now. But I'm going to put this portion into four portions and keep two for tomorrow because I've got my nephew coming. He's off sick from school, he's got the chicken pox. So that'll do us both for lunch tomorrow. And then I'll put two portions in the freezer for lunches or easy dinners or something. I love doing batch cooking and putting stuff in the freezer because it means that every so often I get a week where I don't really have to do much cooking at all. Anyway, thank you so much for watching guys. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, just ask me down in the comments below and I will see you next time.